My name's Lucille, I'm originally from India. I moved to Spain about 10 years ago and I joined Siemens two years ago and it's been such a journey. I'm part of the governance team and cybersecurity of Siemens and we are responsible for monitoring and reporting. Now that was the original role I was hired for as IT architect. However, six months later they asked me to be the data architect. And now we are driving a data-driven cybersecurity in Siemens, and I'm part of that initiative. IT is still very male-dominated, and as you go up the ranks, you always find there are more men than female. However, I've never felt that I've had to compete. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do my best, because we're all rowing in the same direction. When the Data Driven Cybersecurity Initiative started, I was picked out for the role of Data Architect, and I was the only female in the team at that time. And when we went up and presented, this colleague of mine came up to me and said, you're such an inspiration. And, and I think that was the best moment for me, being in that project. She doesn't know it, but in a way, she motivated me to work harder. What makes me proud of where I am? Honestly, this catches me unaware sometimes because I go back to this city in India where I grew up, uh, where we didn't even have running water. And my family got through that and they, they inspired me to always, whatever the situation is, it doesn't last forever, you know? You can get through it. And I look at my life from that girl born in Hyderabad, standing here now, um, handpicked to be, uh, data architect of cybersecurity. The thing about cybersecurity is you need people who bring very different perspectives and different thoughts. And the views, of course, are shaped not just by being male or female, but also from the backgrounds, from the education, from culture. There are so many influences to it. Okay, so having a diverse team always helps because. There is no one solution fits all. You really need to understand the nuances of the situation and they're not always obvious.